I've tried virtually all different kinds of fasting that there is. Three-day fast, five-day fast, seven-day fast, uh, alternative fasting. And uh, I do have to say that I don't see like a real reason or benefit of going for like super long fasts. That's why in this video, I'm going to talk about why I'm no longer doing extended fasts. Make sure you click a like and subscribe as well for future videos about optimizing your health and performance. Do it. Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Seem Lund and I've done intermittent fasting for over eight years by now. And uh, during that time, I've also implemented many types of extended fasting. The human body is incredibly resilient in that sense. Like we can go for many days without eating at all. And uh, it doesn't really have like any huge negative effect on your uh, performance as well as your you know, well-being. However, after so many years of uh, doing this, I have to say that, you know, I won't recommend going for like very long extended fasts. In my opinion, I think that any long, like, you know, 10 day or 14 day fasts, etc. They're kind of, you know, silly. Uh, they're definitely not needed when you're looking for some sort of health uh, benefits like many times people who are doing extended fasts then the rationale for doing that is that they're trying to go into like a deeper state of autophagy or they try to activate different kinds of longevity pathways inside the body now there are animal studies showing that uh, extended fasting does increase autophagy proteins and it does have like some other beneficial biomarkers activated as well such as foxoproteins sirtuins etc that are considered to be you know beneficial for longevity wait a minute obviously the most visible and clearest effect that happens would be just severe weight loss like you would lose a lot of weight if you fast for let's say seven or ten days and uh, it does have let's say a positive health effect on your body if you uh, do that but you know it's not necessarily caused by the fasting in that scenario it can also be just caused by the severe calorie restriction and the weight loss that you experience like if you lose even a little bit of weight if you consider yourself healthy then uh, that calorie restriction and that weight loss will inevitably have a positive effect on almost all of your biomarkers like your, you will see a reduction in your lipids, your cholesterol levels, your blood sugar levels, insulin, and all those things will improve just by virtue of weight loss and calorie restriction. You don't necessarily need to go on like a very long fast to see those effects. Of course, if you go for a fast for seven days, then you're going to get those effects faster. <laughs> like you will see the weight loss and you will see the improvements in your biomarkers are much faster if you fast for seven days as opposed to being under calorie restriction for uh, two weeks. And I guess that's the one of the reasons why people may like to do this extended fast as well. And I'm just, I, I can empathize and I can agree with that in that sense. Like I personally would also uh, prefer to do like a three or five day fast <laughs> as opposed to being under calorie restriction for you know, months upon end. However, it still doesn't mean that there is like some sort of necessity for going for like an extended fast, even for these uh, biomarkers when it comes to longevity. It's a trap! This this entire topic about autophagy and this longevity pathway is not very clear. We don't have any real human data and no human studies showing that, first of all, that these biomarkers are beneficial for longevity, although they are associated with aspects of health span and the lifespan in other species. We don't know if it applies to humans. And second of all, we don't know that whether or not the fasting is the most effective way of doing that and whether or not it actually uh, will you know, carry over those effects in actual your longevity. Disappointed! There's also going to be a lot of negative side effects that you may experience from extended fasts. Your thyroid function will uh, decrease significantly. Your metabolic rate, your leptin levels will uh, go down quite severely, at least during the fast. Of course, you, you can like reverse those things uh, once you start eating again. Like It's very normal for your metabolic rate and thyroid function to drop down under energy restriction. Even calorie restriction will do that. But the problem is that if you are doing a like, very long fast, 3, 7, 10 days, then uh, that drop in net of metabolic rate and leptin levels and thyroid function, it can stick around for definitely many months after even you've stopped the fast. So in my opinion, it's not really worth it, especially if you're you know relatively healthy and lean already, then going for this uh, severe, long fasting and calorie restriction is just not worth it, in my opinion. You're going to lose your uh, a little bit of muscle mass, you're going to lose fat and weight, obviously, but that's not necessarily like worth it if you take into account all the other things that may come, come with that, like your drop in metabolic rate and uh, thyroid function, etc. This is not just something that uh, I would do to my body if it's already healthy and uh, functioning optimally. Like you don't need necessarily yeah, to go for these long fasts to activate autophagy in the first place. And you can activate all these different longevity pathways with exercise, for example, and you can mimic extended fasting with just you know, severe exercise. Like I think overtraining is probably much healthier for you than extended fasting. Like if you go for, let's say, a few days where you're just you know, grinding yourself with exercise, I think that's even healthier uh, than 
fasting is extended fasting for a week because you know you're going to get all the other adaptations that you get from exercise as well and you're going to get this positive aspect of increased fitness cardiovascular fitness muscle mass and bone density all those things that you don't see from fasting with fasting extended fasting you do see like this inc- increased um uh, like biomarkers of longevity etc and uh, weight loss and those things but you don't see this increased fitness aspect and muscle mass itself is also quite important for health and uh, longevity i think muscle mass and muscle strength itself will be one of the best predictors of uh, overall vitality and health span like if you have just muscle everything else will improve as well as a result of that and it takes less effort to stay healthy if you're kind of skinny fat or obese or you don't have muscle at all then it's relatively hard to kind of maintain good biomarkers whereas you have even just a little bit of muscle and strength then your biomarkers and uh, your uh, blood results those are going to stay optimal even without even trying that much because your body is just functioning uh, better now everything i say in this video is kind of referring to this extended fast five seven days probably anything less than five days i still think is quite you know okay like a three-day fast isn't going to wreck, wreck your metabolism it's not going to make you lose muscle it's not going to uh, lower your thyroid that much uh, in a irreversible way and yeah like everything less than five days is still fine and i think that is you know kind of okay to do every once in a while maybe like a few times a year you're not going to see any like you know decrease in your overall health and fitness by doing that but if you're going for like seven day 10 day 14 day fast as some people do online then yeah i think that you will have like a quite a lot to lose or it's kind of like a lazy way out of uh, not doing the other things that uh, will contribute to your health and longevity like exercise like i think exercise is more important than uh, fasting for overall health and uh, longevity calorie restriction itself is also needed like even if you do let's say a 10 day fast you lose all the weight you see improving your biomarkers but then you like you know gain that weight back by overeating again over the span of the entire year then you're still not improving your health even if you do like a 14 or 30 day fast even let's say you're still not improving your health so in conclusion i do think that a three day fast 48 hour fast five day fast at max is fine like you can do them a few times a year what you will see is um, better biomarkers you will lose weight calorie restriction but that can also come with a bit of like negative side effects like you can start to binge after you break the fast you can see a drop in your metabolic rate and thyroid function etc going for super long extended fasting like 10 days and beyond is definitely not what i recommend and uh, i don't see any like real benefit to doing them either that you wouldn't get from anywhere else if you want to learn how to optimize intermittent fasting and do it for improved body composition and health then check out my intermittent fasting video course but other than that thanks for watching this video make sure you click the like subscribe notification bell as well my name is c stay optimized stay empowered